I don't know about you, but I love crispy foods. And this What I Ate in a Day edition is going to be all about crispy foods, so stay tuned. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I am a plant-based RN and I've been following the Start Solution. The Start Solution is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall. And the Starch Solution is a very effective way to get healthy and lose weight. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes that are no oil and gluten-free. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And for more plant-based content, please follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. I also created a Facebook group if you'd like some more support and there you will find like-minded people, recipes, inspiration, and support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created a quick little e-guide that explains the benefits of a plant-based diet. And for even more plant-based content, I started a newsletter. It comes out every other month. And in my newsletter, I address different topics. Some are from a nursing perspective. You'll find tips, tricks, and recipes. I will leave a link to all those resources in the description box below. And make sure you check out everything in the description box. There's a lot of different resources, not only the ones I mentioned, but there's more. I also have links to my favorite kitchen tools and other products that you might like and find helpful. If you would like to support my channel monetarily, you can leave me a tip by hitting that thanks button right below this video. And all donations are used to support this channel, and I appreciate all your support. As I said in the intro, I'm going to be doing a What I Eat in a Day video, and I'm going to feature crispy foods. Sometimes I just want crunch and crispness in my meals. It's very satisfying. And I will be showing you three different recipes that you can interchange at any meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever you eat those meals, whatever works for you. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is get your waffle iron heating up. And this is a super simple batter that you can use. You could use it for pancakes as well. It's a little bit thicker, uh, so I like it better for waffles, but you could thin it out a bit and use it for pancakes. So we're just using a cup of oats. I've got a tablespoon of flaxseed and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to put in about a teaspoon or so of pure vanilla extract. And then we're going to do one banana and you want to make sure your banana is super ripe like this one, a lot of brown spots. That way it's going to really make it sweet. And the flaxseed is taking the place of eggs. It's going to help everything stick together. And then I'm going to put about a cup and a half of water in here. This recipe is super low fat, so it is great for weight loss. So I'm going to go blend this up and we're going to make some waffles. So here's your batter. We're just going to pour it right into this nice hot waffle iron. And I don't spray my waffle iron. Mine's pretty new and it works great. Okay, so we're just going to let this cook, shut the lid. And it's going to take a few minutes and you want them to cook thoroughly that way they won't stick and we want them to be nice and crispy. Let's check to see if they're done. I think so. Yeah, you want them to lift off pretty easily. Yeah. And you can see, look how crispy they are. Mmm, perfect. All right, I'm gonna finish making these waffles. So this is how I like to serve them with some blueberries. You could do strawberries, whatever fruit you would like. And then just a little bit of maple syrup, about a tablespoon. And that is it, crispy waffles. Now you could have this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, however you wanna do it. I've done all three. Next up, I'm gonna make crispy spring rolls. I've got my wrappers here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some strips of tofu and I'm going to crisp them up in the air fryer first. And then I'm going to shred my veggies and then we'll put it all together. So I'm just going to make some strips here.
Then I'm just going to season them up a little bit. Onion powder. Garlic powder. I kind of pat it in. And then a little nutritional yeast. This helps it to not stick as well, but it gives it a nice crunchy little coating. And then we're going to flip these over, do it the exact same way, in the air fryer 400 for about 10 minutes. So while the tofu is cooking, let's shred our veggies. Keeping it way simple today, I've got cucumber, carrots, I've got some green and red cabbage. Now if your cucumbers are not organic, I suggest you peel them. They're very highly sprayed, so that is why this one is peeled. And then I have this cool little shredder I use. You could just use a regular peeler, or you could just use a knife and cut them very thin strips. Carrot, same way. Okay, you get the idea. I don't need to stand here and show you how to do this for the next five minutes. Not that it's gonna take that long, but anyway, I'm going to check on the tofu. I think it's just about done, and then I'll show you how I put these together and how we cook them. Okay, so I'm by no means an expert at doing this. It's always, yeah, it's a struggle. So what I do is I take two sheets of the rice paper, get it wet. I've got a little bowl of water here, okay. And then what I do is I put it on my little cutting board, wet it down, and I let it just sit for a minute and get soft. Not too soft. And then I just wet it a little bit more and just keep checking on it. Because <clears throat> you want it to be able to roll but you don't want it to tear, okay? And the reason why I use two is because if I just used one, uh, these are gonna go in the air fryer, if I just used one, it would tear for sure, but two makes it a little bit stronger. Okay, this is good. All right, so I just take, and I do it different every time. Sometimes I put the tofu first, sometimes I do that first, I don't know. And there we go, and sometimes, I put too much, sometimes I don't put enough. Like, it's trial and error every time I do this. It's hilarious. All right, so then roll it up. You know how to do this. You just tuck the sides in, yada, yada. Okay, and there you go. So that's basically it. Now you could eat it just like this if you want, but we're doing crispy foods. So, set that aside. We'll do another one, and then I put them in the air fryer like at 390 for about 8 to 10 minutes, and watch them because they will burn really fast. So again, we just kind of wet it, and you know what? Do whatever works for you. This is just my little system that I came up with for me, and it works for me. So there you have it. Okay, I'm going to finish making couple more of these and then we'll put them in the air fryer. Okay, so here they are in the air fryer. I lined them with a little parchment paper just in case and 390, 10 minutes. I'll check them at eight and see how they look. And I put seam side down. So here you have your crispy spring rolls. I made a, just a quick little sauce with some powdered peanut butter, some water and coconut aminos. I think I did one tablespoon of the PB2. Uh, two tablespoons of water and a tablespoon of coconut aminos. Probably could have just used one tablespoon of water, but that's fine. All right, let's cut these in half so you can see. And hopefully they'll, they're pretty hot. You can hear the crunchiness. And look at that. You've got your veggies and your tofu. Delicious. Again, this could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whatever you choose. You can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. 
of these kind of foods. So my next crispy meal are going to be taquitos, which I'm going to make in the air fryer. All these recipes that I made, the egg rolls and these taquitos can be made in the oven. Usually just double the time and you have to flip them halfway through. All right, I've got a little bit of water in here and I'm gonna add in half an onion. We'll let this cook for a few minutes till the onions start getting soft. And we're gonna add in a couple cloves of garlic or a little more. And we'll just let this cook for about a minute or so. Now we're gonna add in our spices, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, and oregano. Exact measurements will be in the description box. Then we're gonna let this cook together for a couple of minutes. These come together so easy. Now we add in a half a cup of veggie broth, half a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes, and a can of chickpeas. We're gonna stir this, get it all combined, and we're gonna simmer this for about 10 minutes. Now if you wanted to make this a little bit spicier, you could add in some cayenne pepper, but I'm not gonna do spicy right now. Now we're gonna do a quick mash of these. I'm gonna put them in a different bowl because I can't use metal in this pan. All right, so I've got my air fryer. I've got some parchment paper in there. And then as you can see, I mashed up some of the chickpeas, but we do have some that are still whole. So you have some different textures in there. Now this, now this is like my egg rolls. Sometimes I put too much, sometimes I put too little. It's always like an experiment every time I do it. So we'll put some of the filling down the middle. And then we roll it up. Now, you can just put these seam side down or you could put a toothpick if you want it to make sure it stays. So I've just heated up these tortillas a little bit so they roll easier. So down the middle and you know it's gonna the filling's gonna slip out each side so don't worry about it. That's normal. I'm gonna put I'm gonna do some with the toothpick, some without. Then I'm just gonna line these all up in my air fryer. We're gonna do eight to 10 minutes, 380. I think I'll start with 380 and I'll probably flip halfway through. And oh, one other thing, almost forgot. I'm just gonna brush a little plant milk on there so they don't dry out and it'll help them get a little crispier, look crispier. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna continue until I have this all filled up and then I'll show you what they look like at the end. So here's what they look like and they came out nice and crispy. I just used my plant-based cheese sauce, added a little salsa to it to make like a queso. Got a little lettuce and tomato over here on the side and that's it. Super easy. And that filling would also be good in tacos but today I made taquitos, so let's give these a try. All right, let's give it a taste. Got some cheese sauce here. Should be probably messy. Mmm. Can you hear that crunch? So good. Unbelievable and so easy. I hope you enjoyed this What I Ate in a Day, my crispy food edition. And I hope you give these recipes a try. If you've made it to this point in the video, please comment below with crispy. That way I know you made it to the end and I really appreciate your support. And if you like this video, if you got value, if it was helpful, if you learned something, please hit the like button. That helps my channel as well. And remember, all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. On my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant fest on my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes, 
that are no oil and gluten free. So, and if you'd like to support my channel monetarily, if you would like to support my channel monetarily, monetarily, yeah. If you'd like to share, and I appreciate everything, and I, <laughs> so as I said in the intro, I'm gonna be doing a what I ate in a day video. As I said in the intro, I'm gonna be do it. Oh my gosh. As I said in the intro, I'm gonna be do. Hubba, hubba, hubba. 